Hey, Cigar Box Nation TV, my name is Shane Spiel, thank you for joining me. Hey, do me a favor, share this video, whether this video is on your Facebook timeline or on your uh, YouTube or wherever else, make sure you share this. I've got some secrets to show you today. I'm going to be talking about antique boxes. I'm going to be talking about uh, some interesting fretboard options, uh, like you'll see here. We'll get into this in a minute. And just give you some all-around cool secrets. First of all, I want to thank our sponsor. Our sponsor for today is CBGiddy.com. CBGiddy, that's where I get all my cigar box guitar parts. Check them out. They've got a great line of uh, cigar box guitars and amplifiers as well. So check them out today. Okay, I just got done building two cigar box guitars here. Two antique box, or I used antique boxes to build these. And uh, they came out great. They have an old time sound. Uh, I've really had to tweak these a lot because building with antique boxes is a lot harder and a lot more, well there's a bigger chance of these things imploding and, and getting destroyed as you're working with them. Uh, now these boxes are each about 80 years old. So you have that very dry solid wood that would crack real easy. In fact I even broke one box. I've got it over in my junk pile now where the the top of it just snapped right in half as I was working on it. But uh, I showed this on an earlier broadcast, but as I'm working with these antique boxes, first of all, <laughs> I polyurethane the entire outside of them, and that seals in all the patina and... Uh, just gives them a nice, gorgeous, finished look to it. Also, what I did with these was I took uh, little pieces of 3 8 inch wood and put that down here, and I made little bracings all on the inside. And that's all glued in here to keep the box nice and solid. So anytime I'm working with these antique boxes, I do a lot of extra bracing. Okay. And what we have here is the finished guitar, and uh, it, this came out great, but you'll notice it sounds a little higher tuned than I'm used to building. This is tuned to an open C right now, and the string gauges are a lot lighter. CB Giddy sells uh, acoustic guitar strings for DAD, and that's what I used for this. Because the lighter the gauges, the higher the tuning, but it's also less pressure on the box. Uh, I didn't want to crush the box as, as the strings went over. So it shows a thinner string and a high, you know, a tuning. Um, in this case, it was open C. the string gauges are uh, what does it it's like 32 24 16 or somewhere very close to that um, I took my time cutting out the F holes and I had a brand new scroll saw so that was fun to do um, so using antique boxes I tell you what they can be a pain in your butt you really need to take the extra time with them uh, if you're going to make a guitar that you're going to perform with, I would not suggest uh, an antique box. Because unless you're very delicate in the way you play, uh, I have a feeling these things just won't take the abuse of a normal three-hour gig. But playing at home, playing in the studio, these things are perfect. They're also going to give you the sound of an old-time cigar box guitar because you just cannot 
beat the sound of an 80 year old box singing now you see with this one i used an old um an old yardstick and uh i love using yardsticks i i get them at flea markets the best ones and let me see now i don't have any here the best ones i like are when the telephone numbers are only four or five digits long which means they're pre like 1960s but I always get these, I polyurethane them up, clean them up. Whenever I put them on a neck through cigar box guitar, they just give that appearance of frets. And this one's cool because the numbers go backwards on it. So it starts with one and it goes that way. Usually the one is up here and then, it, you know, whatever. Either way, this was a cool one. I use uh, yardsticks. It's a slide cigar box guitar. So I put the fret markers on the side. For the performer, you can look as you're playing and see the frets as you're going up and down. <clears throat> Excuse me, as you're going up and down. But the audience, all they see is old time yardstick. Now, I want to give you this other tip. Um, I had an old apple crate. Or actually, it was a grape. Fruit crate. And you'll see, I've started to take it apart here. It was for teaser juice grapes. And these are those old wooden uh, fruit crates from the 1950s or before. But uh, on this side of it, the boards going on this side had the brand name on. I took those boards off and I cut them into 1.25 inch strips. And I use that for the fretboard here. So you can see a ghost of the old brand name going right up the right up the neck. Uh, I've got another one here that you can see a lot easier. This one is uh, it's Papa Genie's. And what I'll do with this, this will get polyurethane cleaned up. Um, but taking an old fruit crate and having that brand name going up the fretboard is a great great visual um a visual trick do it with old cigar boxes match it with the old boxes and you have something that looks like it was made by just junk laying around the farm so i just cut the i cut the fretboard just a little bit skinnier than the neck and uh used my sander to sand off the edges and and uh, put polyurethane on, but it is just a wonderful effect. So check that out. If you're hitting flea markets or yard sales, uh, look for old crates, and especially ones with the names branded on the side. I've also used, uh, I don't have it here, used old like soda crates like Coca-Cola or 7-Up, and I've cut the sides off that were branded, and I've used those as fretboards as well. Just you you want these things to be visually stunning, and you just can't beat this. So there's an idea for you to steal. I'm giving it to you guys. Go ahead and use it. Um, another big thing that a secret I want to show you. I use poplar on these necks, and I've made thousands of cigar box guitars with poplar. The strings when they really, when they're fit. Ugh. Man, am I having a tough time talking today. When the strings are fed through the back and they come up the front with poplar, sometimes it digs into the wood. So I bought these. These are from CB Giddy. They are 100-piece long shank brass eyelets. And he also calls them string ferrules. And let me pull a couple out of here. And what you want to do is you want to drill a hole just just smaller or you know just smaller than the width of the ferrule drill that hole the whole way through because these string ferrules even though it says long shank they only go halfway down into the wood here you see that which means you can use two one on top and one on bottom and it fits just perfectly and that's what i did I have one ferrule going top here and one in the bottom and it adds the perfect finish 
to where the strings are fed up through at the butt end of a cigar box guitar. All right. I just love these things. Uh, this was the bridge itself is one of CB Giddy's um, hardwood bridges. It's similar to this one. This has a bottom arch. This one was a straight. But what I did with this bridge was I cut it and I shrunk it down to size, used my sander to clean up the edges. And uh, nice hardwood bridge. The hardwood transfers string vibration straight to the box and excites the box and that's where you get the tone. Now, I've got the guitars done. What I need to do next is these are going to go on sale at ShaneSpiel.com. And in all of these videos, I've tried to teach you guys how to sell and market your own guitars. What I'm going to do with these is I'll go in the house and I'll get some uh, furniture polish. Pledge. It's fine. I'm going to polish up the guitars, make them look nice, and then I'm going to photograph them. I like to photograph mine right on the workbench here. I'll clean up my messy workbench, put a single light on there, and get some great photos. In addition, I'm going to take my iPhone and record a one-minute demo video for each guitar. Those demo videos I'm going to upload to YouTube. And when I put these guitars on ShaneSpiel.com, um, I will embed the video right beside the listing. So if you're going to go look for guitars on my website, you're going to have some great pictures showing all the different details, and you're also going to have a demo video. People, I cannot tell you how much a demo video will help. And if you're not good at playing, I've told you before, if you want to sell cigar box guitars, learn to play. Try to get at least one or two licks that you can fire off that sound good, and make that your demo video. But... All of these things are important. You can't just build a beautiful guitar and then expect people to find it somewhere. Um, no, you got to do the right pictures, do a good video, and wherever you sell it, whether it be your website, Facebook, Etsy, eBay, do a demo video. It helps big time. So those are my little tips for you guys. Uh, I'm having a blast building these. I'm getting ready for the Christmas season. Um, I have a goal of... Finishing 10 guitars before Thanksgiving, I'm way behind, uh, but at least most of those guitars are not antique boxes, or half of them aren't an antique boxes, um, so those will go a little bit quicker. But, uh, oh, one other huge one, please, please people do this as you're building, please sign your work. I put my last name at the headstock, but that is hand-signed. I also put a date on the back of them. Sign your work. You're an artist. Sign your work. So, that's what I got for you today. Um, antique boxes are a pain in the butt, but if you take time bracing them and uh, spend a lot of extra time in the setup, you can have a great sounding guitar. Uh, fruit crates are great to take apart and use for fretboards because they look awesome. And so do yardsticks. There we go. Oh, string ferrules. Don't forget the string ferrules because uh, they keep the strings from cutting into the wood. So there we go. My name is Shane Spiel. Thank you for watching Cigar Box Nation TV. Thank you so much to our sponsor, cbgiddy.com. Check them out today. And please, Share this video on Facebook. Please share it today. Uh, share this on your YouTube as well. Give us some thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. For Cigar Box Nation, I am Shane Spiel. You guys, happy building. I will see you soon. And I gotta turn.